For this project you need a side range, some magnet wire, two neodymium magnets, a metal rod and a reed switch. Start by attaching the two magnets to the metal rod. The magnets should be placed in such a way that we have different poles at each end. This is easy to do because if we put one magnet in the wrong direction we will feel a repulsive force. In the correct direction we will feel attraction. Take the syringe and wind between 250 and 300 turns of magnet wire. Then one end of the coil is connected to the reed switch. Therefore we will have two terminals, this and this, and we will connect our battery in these two terminals. The reed switch is fixed with epoxy glue to the syringe. Let's put our motor to work. Insert the magnets and we're going to use a 6 volt battery. Let me connect the terminals. There you are. There are two things that you have to be careful if you build this motor. First is the polarity of the coil. If your motor does not work, you have to swap the connections of the battery in order to get the correct polarity. The other thing is that the magnetic switch has a position where it is more sensitive, so before you glue it, you have to turn it until you find the position where the switch is most sensitive. Let's see how the motor works. The reed switch closes when the magnet is near and the current flows through the coil. The coil becomes an electromagnet and if the polarity is correct, the magnet will be attracted to the coil. When the magnet is away from the reed switch, the circuit opens and the coil no longer attracts the magnet. However, the magnet has a speed and continues its movement. Because the syringe is in a vertical position, the magnet eventually stops, then goes back to the bottom, the reed switch is activated again and the cycle repeats.